Hello and welcome back to another week of What the Fuck Do You Want? The podcast that asks people what the fuck do they want and you get really weird and weedy answers for about 30 minutes. Giving me a weird and weedy answer this week, who have I got? Well, it's the one and only Eric from the Matt Black Studio. Who the fuck are you, Eric? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a fucking nobody who, who left there. What their... the fuck are you doing here? This is a I, show for somebody's. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Papa's gotta eat. People may not know your voice, but if they're anything like me, they've seen a lot of your sprites. Oh, my sprites. I mean, my pixel sprites, I hope. I hope so, unless you've okay. got another fan page I don't know about yet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, talk about pixelated. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I, I, thank you. I uh, Yeah, I've been uh, doing some pixel art for a little bit now. It's for the... I mean, it started off as like a little hobby, and then uh, just kind of like kept doing it over and over and over again. You know how that turns into practice. And Definitely. It's uh, starting to show a little bit. Yeah. I think it's starting to look better than my first. Everyone gets a little bit better, hopefully. So we actually, we met through a friend somewhat. Yes. Our average Joe. He's so average. He's so, so below average. So he sent me this perfect polo shirt that you may see right now. The listener I can't th- see it. I thought I saw Yeah. That it's little amazing. pixelated penis on my chest. I saw you thought it was. I was like, all right, that's either like um like the musical notes, you know, like the two notes uh, <laughs> emoji, or or that's a penis. <laughs> it was most certainly a penis. <laughs> um, I need to have a few words with our friend Average Joe because where the fuck is mine? Is uh that's my question to him. Again, I'm a somebody. I get the willy <laughs> shirt. Fine. I just want the the dark star then. Just give me that <laughs> give me that sweet something. So we'll check in. How are you? Are you still alive? I I am still alive. I'm glad um, to hear it. I was worried for you. I uh I'm still breathing. Um That's always the, a plus. Yeah, it's going to be hopefully going on for a few years and then eventually Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah, eventually that'll stop. And then, um, you know, just eternal blackness. And I'll just be able to sleep peacefully and quietly. Unlike today, the missus loves to wake me up at like 9.30 sharp when I'm, uh, you know, spry. Terrible. (laughs) Well, that was a lovely check-in. That's great. That's what interviewers do. Pretend to care how you're doing. Your well-being. I I, I felt it. I I felt the care layered with a nice film of who gives a shit. Yeah. I spent the holiday reading about empathy. Interesting subject. Don't think it'll catch on. Overrated. Definitely. (laughs) So will we get to the subject at hand? Yes. And then you can make fun of me for shilling. Shilling for minutes on end. Yes. I plan to. (laughs) Where shall we begin? Eric, from the Matt Black Studio. What the fuck do you want? I want people to go to www.com. You don't have to say the www dot anymore. It's not the fucking nineties. It should be. I these goddamn little whippersnappers TikToking with NPC pieces of shit. I'm just shaking my fist at the air over here. www dot lucidkickstarter dot com. Go there. You follow the damn Kickstarter, and you won't be sorry. I guarantee you that. So you are just here to fucking shell your wares. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't, um, I don't know. Average Joe has no idea what he started here. He really doesn't. <laughs> He's uh, that, that good, that good, good lad. That b- ah, there's worse average. about, but they're normally in prison. Yeah. 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 Have you gotten to, I mean, I'm sure you've seen, have you gotten to play or like seen a lot of his, his game? Oh, it's, yes. It's <laughs> I was filthy. one of the playtesters. Oh, fantastic. Yes, same, same. It's uh, deplorable, and I love it. That's uh, beautiful. But we're not here to talk about his fucking game. Oh, right, yeah, right, right, right. Fuck that guy. Yeah, prick. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're talking about Lucid. Lucid. Um, it is a... Uh, 
I don't know what your demographic of audience is, my friend, but I'm assuming... Uh, mostly cunts. Cunts? Okay, yeah. they're, they're gonna love Lucid. Oh, it's, that's good. Yes, it's this like... It's gonna uh, be a difficult subject otherwise. <laughs> It's uh, it's got that again that '90s nostalgia. I'm sure we're all uh, hankering for better and older days. Uh, it's pixelated, uh, side-scrolling action. It's a uh, Metroidvania. Uh, it's well, can I tell you about the first impressions I got from it? Because I've been going through quite a bit of the promotional material you've been putting up, and I love Mega Man. Is there any of that DNA in there? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is. Oh, oh, oh. Um, That's I've what been, I like um, to hear. Yes, uh, tight and responsive controls have been uh, a priority. Little blue boys in spandex. Ooh, yes. What is like? Uh, oh, shiver me timbers. Um, that Mega Mega Man is um, he's just iconic to me. Uh, he was like between Legend of, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, mm -hmm. Mega Man X, and probably like Turtles in Time. Those were like the the three that were floating around on the SNES when I was first getting into like gaming in general. Mm -hmm. uh, and I played the ever loving fuck out of Mega Man X. Like, I, I play... Regularly, I play the uh, the OST uh, while I'm working. It's just uh, so goddamn good. Yeah, I always feel that Mega Man X never gets the credit for our current field of Metroidvanias. It doesn't. It really doesn't. I, and it's a shame. Uh, I don't know why... I, I don't know why the genre... It seems niche at this point. Mm -hmm. And I, I really don't get it. I, I like to think it was... Capcom's fault for just botching the series over time and it like kind of fizzled out into the nothing. Yeah, those fucking cutscenes are stopping you every five steps. We yeah. didn't need that. Or, or, or Mega Man oh, was X7 that went yeah. 3D and you're like, what the hell have you done? What have done you done here? Boy! My boy! <laughs> but yeah, uh, back in original Mega Man X, I mean, there's a brotherhood or, you know, there is a secret society of people that unlocked the Street Fighter Hadouken. In yes. The first Mega Man X. Yes. So, yeah, hidden upgrades that you could finish the game without, but if you really knuckled down and you s just scoured every map, yep. you could find them because not all of us had guides. Yep. The uh, that Hadouken, that feeling of uh, I remember it was like Sigma's dog. Mm. That's uh, the pre-boss. I mean, eventually you play it and you're like, easy peasy. But I remember as a kid and being like, this motherfucker won't leave me alone. <laughs> and then you get the Duke in and it's just like right off the bat. And it blows up. It's, oh, chef's kiss. But we're not here to talk about Mega Man X. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I, I keep, keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep sidetracking you. <laughs> what the uh, fuck yes. is Lucid? Lucid is uh, an homage to Mega Man X and games of the ilk. Uh, it is absolutely in the DNA of, uh, let's see, it's a combination of Super Metroid, mm -hmm. Mega Man X, and the games like uh, A Link to the Past when it comes to like kind of uh, storytelling, going to areas, helping out, colorful roster of characters, dungeons. Um, I guess let me give you like the really, really fucking broad strokes of uh, kind of like the gameplay loop-ish. Um, oh, yeah. Idea is you open world uh, Metroidvania overworld map where it's pretty much open to anywhere you want to go. It's gatekeeped in the sense that there are ability gates, but if you are skilled and knowledgeable of the game, you can do sequence breaks with maneuvers and uh, just know-how. Um, there's also, like, obviously tougher enemies here, and they'll fucking kick your ass, so you probably want to save for this later. But, again, if you're very good, you can go wherever the hell you want. You can do any order that you'd like, for the most part. Then when you go to, let's say, a, a biome with the town... Uh, you figure out the story, and you get sent to around. You keep searching. And eventually, you find a dungeon. You mm. go to the dungeon, and then when you're in... I do like to crawl through the odd dungeon. Yeah, so the it, oh, Metroidvania map, you find a dungeon, you enter it in, and then it's kind of like a side-scrolling uh, Zelda map, but there are sections that kind of play very akin to a Mega Man X kind of stage level. So that's when the Mega Man X kicks in, where it's uh, very like from start from A, got to get to B, and uh, there's even a little bit of speed running aspects involved, but it's mm. not heavily in the forefront. It's very much if you are that kind of player, it's there, but you do not have to speed run, but it's definitely being designed around it from the ground up. So then when you do that in the, the dungeon, eventually you kind of get to a mid-boss. You would fight you essentially the proto-man to your Mega Man, mm. uh, and you will unlock a uh, hell's it, like an ability called the Crystal Art. It's kind of like the treasure in um, you know, uh, you know, Zelda games or like in a Samus ability. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of more of the dungeon is obviously surrounded by said new ability, 
and then you fight a big boss and uh, you kind of um, do this all these over these abilities when you unlock them do you carry them constantly do you have to swap them in and out you will have so if uh have you played link's awakening oh my friend oh yeah i could play link's awakening with my fucking eyes closed yes um it's definitely my definitely my top maybe three but definitely my top five Zelda. it's my first one so it's like nostalgia just boosts it's up to the elbow yeah same 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 uh i could anyway uh, i'm gonna get sidetracked but um <laughs> in in the link's awakening if you can, shall recall mm -hmm. you have like two slots um like the a and the b button where you could equip a, a weapon in the game you'll have i think i can say okay yeah in the game you're gonna have about five crystal arts in total mm -hmm. um at any one time you can have uh two equipped so you can have two button slots that will just use that uh, ability. And then kind of like in Duke Nukem 2016, or just Duke, uh, not Duke Nukem, Jesus, <laughs> Doom. Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, um, you, you could like swap in combat and time kind of slows down. You yeah. would uh, select the weapon best suited for the enemy you're taking on. And sometimes it would have to swap in between. I mean, like you, you blow off a shield and all of a sudden you got to sh change the shotgun. Then you have oh, to nice. use the energy and thing. Can you cycle through quickly? Are we talking Very quick. selection wheel or is this spoiler it's, territory? Oh, no. It's selection wheel. There's a few clips online uh, of it where uh, you'll see a, a big, uh, it slows down and then a selection wheel, and then you, it's like very quick swap, and mm. you can choose uh, very quickly to swap it and then uh, keep going. So uh, you have two Tasty. at any one time, but five uh, all together when you get them. And do they act independently, or can you use two of them at the same time to kind of combine them? They, that might be... Oh, is that a spoiler? That might be a little bit of a spoiler. Spoiler uh, me. I love doing this. Yeah, just a little bit of a spoiler. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Don't you ask do me that. a question again or I'll break your jaw. <laughs> yeah, I get I'll it. I dare you. <laughs> so what you're saying is your game will be the Dark Souls of indie platformer Metroidvanias. <laughs> Ew. Uh, <laughs> Hard to yeah. insult your guest in 30 <laughs> seconds or less. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> no, Dark Souls is such a huge inspiration to me it is it means a lot as a game designer as a game mm -hmm. player it is such a good game and um a piece of art in the the industry but it absolutely has influenced my design of lucid yeah but it, it doesn't have, i wouldn't call it a souls like by any stretch of the, the word um there's no like uh backtracking to get souls um there's no like uh stats and, mm -hmm. and well, i didn't nature. want to put you off when you mentioned earlier if you're playing this game and you kind of have a bit of previous knowledge about yep. speed running or breaking yep. sequence. It sounds like you're kind of catering for between the first time players and the seasoned diehards with crusty trousers. You're you're hitting the nail on the head. That's exactly oh. what's going on. Um, um, I'm so clever. Yeah, you you clever bastard. Um, <laughs> it, the th first Dark Souls, the moment I think of is obviously the you could either go where you're supposed to go or you make that hard right or doesn't matter uh you go towards the skeletons uh to the the tombs and get your ass kicked or you know what you're doing beeline through it get the scythe i think it is and all of a sudden you have a crazy overpowered weapon early in the game mm -hmm. that is that moment is very much uh, an inspiration to uh, world and design i do and like that in an age of endless tutorials where you learn by doing rather than being shown yes much appreciated yes i designing the tutorial level took so long like it i don't think a lot of people understand or appreciate how difficult it can be to know exactly that fine line of what is too much what is not enough how do you show something yeah, without because you get pricks like me on the internet complaining about it when you've poured hundreds of hours trying to perfect it i'm sure yeah it's um it's um I, the word i've settled on is a you you obviously it's very much um old school Mega Man where like it'll teach you something in mm -hmm. isolation a controlled environment well, and then... Mega Man x is opening without trying to herald back to it too frequently that kind of taught oh. you everything you needed to know in that little prologue exactly the, the, that that sequelitis from um eagle rack for way back when was also mm -hmm. a big inspiration to um the design of the tutorial. Fighting Boba Fett. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, like the 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 rub is is that Lucid is very mechanically deep. There's a lot mm -hmm. of layers of what's going on. So, not to rub the iconic Mega Man X, but uh, 
it's, it's a ball it's, of shit, and Capcom should be ashamed of themselves. Sure is. Of, like, they should be embarrassed, honestly, that they that never thought that balls. was. Yeah, it's not cool that they thought that they could release that unpolished, unfinished turd of a game, and uh, <laughs> just think it was okay. Anyway, before I get more upset with Capcom, I there's a lot of show don't tell, but there is. Mm -hmm. um, if you oh no, I'm sure there's a happy medium. It must be a tightrope, just getting it right. Yeah, there's like a little bit of text if you want it, but like, mm -hmm. let me put it this way: in the in the tutorial, I can literally go through all of it without reading a single thing. But you can also stop and smell the roses and read and whatever. But uh, it is I not... think having the choice to do either is what people are after. It's being yeah. forced to do one or the other is what kind of yeah. steps out of it. Not not cool. I don't. Yeah, like let me play the game. I don't, I'm not here to read. I am here to play. But, you can't uh, play yeah. a fucking book. <laughs> yeah. Reading is for nerds. Everyone out there, if you, it's These for nerds, video games stop doing For it. those who like to slam ass. <laughs> yeah, man. Alpha chads. <laughs> I did want to bring out, I, I hate comparing games to other games. I, I don't mean it as fine. an insult, but it's uh, watching some of the trailers. And yes, everyone listening, I'll leave links for trailers in this. There's a hint of Celeste in there. Mm, and indeed. Everybody loves Celeste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Is there going to be balls to the wall platforming in this? So that's a really good question. Um, I am so fantastic I've... with questions. You'd think I've got over a hundred episodes under my belt by now. Yeah, I mean, just uh, like hearing and just just the way you conduct yourself. I'm like this jabroni doesn't know what he's doing. Like I, I'm, 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 this is embarrassing. Like, I'm, I'm like a drunk time. child running through the woods. I'm just trying yeah, to evade capture. <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed on the internet. Who's letting you <laughs> dial up? Uh, Why does uh, Ireland have the internet? Yeah, it, it's really irresponsible, and uh, us Americans need to come over there and just, you know, take it away from you. It's just kind of... If you have started the American-Irish War, <laughs> be it on your head. <laughs> yes, Eric Manahan is the one that started the Irish War. <laughs> anyway, um, the Celeste, yes. It, um, so, Lucid started out in Game Maker, mm -hmm. and it was a way, it was way um, traditional Metroidvania stuff way more just you know uh, walking running no mm -hmm. celeste anywhere in sight go on hiatus for a bit in between play celeste play the messenger play doom 2016 uh come back off and learn unity and build it from the ground up and all mm -hmm. of a sudden I, I remember i was just sitting there and i was just playing around and i was just putting making up this little room and all of a sudden I made it this. I made this essentially like a break the targets course, yeah. where like when you hit something, it refreshes your jumps and your resources, so you can stay airborne as long as you keep connecting hits. Mm -hmm. um, and I was doing this one room for like an hour and a half, having fun, and all of a sudden it was like light bulb, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is the game! <laughs> oh, oh my god!" And I just ran with it. So the Celeste portion is is less of the like gripping and holding to ledges and mm. uh, in that sense, but there's the portions of Celeste where like you jump into the green gem and it would refresh your jumps and you have to like keep doing it and not hit the spikes. And I found that so much fun. Mm -hmm. That and the messenger did something similar. So in that sense, that's what the Celeste comes is uh, by hitting any target, striking any target with one of your crystal arts, um, you regain another jump and another usage of your crystal arts that you have equipped so you can just keep chaining uh horizontally vertically uh, any of them just uh, it, it really expands your mobility so that's why uh every crystal art was designed to not only enhance combat but expand mobility well that's nice it sounds like you've been polishing this for quite a while when did you actually start yeah uh, yeah i've uh i've been polishing for a while it's um I've been trying to find masturbation tuning. joke yeah 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 it's uh it's a fine it's like a pink very pink and very shiny game it's uh like a smooth like a baby's bottom yeah spitting it mm. <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> that mental image <laughs> so it's safe it, to say this project it's been in the work for quite a while it has yes it um it started out in like 2000 well it, it was just this like hobby sketchy thing while i was mm -hmm. working in my architecture like i was supposed to be working in my architecture firm and i would just be reading forums and game maker uh doing pixel art online and not into what i was doing and mm. uh this was like in 2013 then it started to pick up in 2016 ish and it started to take shape and then uh took a hiatus it was just uh, obviously uh 
I was not doing my job and I needed to focus because <laughs> uh, I was like, there's no way this could ever be a career. I have to focus on my career because I'm a mm-hmm. big boy. And uh, then I was crippling depressed and uh, my fiance was like, you're miserable. You should at least do that. What your project was. You're so happy doing it. You should at least do it. I'm like, all right. Well, that's some sure? pretty fucking sound advice. Yeah. Yeah. She was, uh, she's the catalyst for all this, to be honest. But yeah, she sent me on my way. And then she's 2000- too good for you. She- oh, absolutely. Hands down. I don't know what she's, I mean, I have to, that's why Lucid has to be a success. Otherwise, <laughs> oh my God, uh, she's going to kick me to the curb. Um, <laughs> yeah, around 2020 is when uh, it started to like take shape. So it's been in the fucking world, I guess, my, my ecosphere for like 10-ish mm-hmm. years. That's impressive. It come along that long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully, hopefully it, uh, after the Kickstarter, we can, uh, what I've been hoping is by keeping a super solid foundation, I'm trying to make it as polished and tight as possible, mm-hmm. it will then allow for um, expedited or rather less of a tumultuous uh, development period afterwards. So strong foundation, better, taller skyscraper kind of stuff. Definitely. From all the footage I've seen, I've been looking at it quite a bit. I mean, I even see hints of like Zero's saber in there. Oh, yeah, man. Um, we kept saying Mega Man Everything X. looks so tasty. I oh. don't mind telling you. <laughs> Thank you. Because um, I'd love for people to come on here to try and sell their game and it'd be dog shit. That, that would entertain me greatly. <laughs> yeah, that would... Uh... That would be an interesting... Uh, when Final Fantasy XVII is getting made, I might fight them on. Yeah. Just destroy them. Um, It's kind of... It would, that's kind of like the Jerry Springer model, where you like, invite people <laughs> on just to take them down. Yeah. I mean, it proves very successful. I've got my goals. What are yours? <laughs> Not to get invited to your podcast if that becomes the model. <laughs> Lucid 2. <two>. Oh, boy. <laughs> We just got an invitation from uh, what the fuck do you want? Do you want to go and be like, no? <laughs> fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need him anymore. Yeah. Uh, oh, to your point, uh, we were talking about Mega Man X and Mega Man Z. We Mega Man Z keep is talking uh, about them. Yeah. Yeah. We we can't help it because it's so obviously a uh, uh, influence, inspiration. The DNA is in there. Uh, mm-hmm. The Z Saber. I mean, Zed, like, please. Oh, sorry, the Zed Saber. Zed's dead. How rude. It's, uh, I mean, what, is, what are you, let me guess, you use the metric system? What, what are we doing? <laughs> we use both <laughs> in confusing <laughs> methods. I know. It's so much better. I mean, talk about <laughs> architecture career. It was so much easier. Anyway, Mega Man Z um, is as much of an inspiration as Mega Man, sorry, Mega Man Z is as much of an inspiration as Mega Man X Zed X. Is it X? <laughs> X and zero, yes. Ah, got it. <laughs> And boss battles, are, can we talk about those? Oh, absolutely. Um, I love boss battles. They're so mm. much fun. Again, um, another thing the Mega Man series doesn't get credit for, hard bosses where you yes. have to memorize patterns and find yes. weaknesses. Yes, it, it was like, a, like they set the blueprint, the, the Mega Man Blue Bomber print. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like, it's funny because when you first enter a boss, a Mega Man X boss fight, you're like, I can't keep up. And then eventually you figure it out and it's just like cakewalk. And uh, that process is one of the most satisfying feelings. And again, like Dark Souls, uh, similar thing where you go in there, mm-hmm. you're ass handed to you. Eventually you learn the pattern and then you can do it without getting hit. That is my goal. And actually it's something that I've, I, I, I mean, not to toot my own, uh, yes, to toot my own horn. Yes, toot your own horn. This is what I'm, it's for. I'm doing a toot and fiddle it all. Up, uh, and I, I, I did it. We got it. Spit I, on it. Spitting it. Um, it's polished. It's polished as shit. I uh, I made a boss fight and I handed it off to a buddy, mm-hmm. and he was just getting hit and hit and getting his ass handed to him. He's like, "Dude, this is overtuned. It's so hard." I'm like, "Give me that." I take the controller and I, I proceed to defeat it without getting hit. And he's like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> Which, but that just told me that like it can be done. There is a skill ceiling. Perhaps mm-hmm. I will tune it down a bit so it's not so oppressive. But uh. Yeah, I think that, like, some of these battles, if especially in your situation, you know the game inside out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the people the, may not want to play to get to that skill level. Exactly, I've gotten yeah. that question a few times. Like, how long do how long will it take a average player to reach the skill that you're playing at right now? When I'm like demoing the game, <laughs> easy like, mode. That is, yeah. Like, how do I answer that? I've been playing for like ten hundred thousand hours. I don't. Yeah. I, I have no <laughs> idea how to answer that. 
you know what's hidden behind the screen you know how it works <laughs> yeah i know all the, how the, the sausage is made i know where the <laughs> hit boxes are i know oh puppies <laughs> those are my dogs they they like barking at nothing it's i'm not going to thing. credit them in the show that's not input <laughs> um but yes boss fights they're here they're they're here to stay and um they're also inspired a lot by the dark souls model where uh there's a bunch of item descriptions and uh npc dialogue and environmental mm-hmm. storytelling and uh they're the fight themselves and what they are and where they are tells a story that if you're paying attention or give a shit all makes sense and ties into the overarching narrative. Um, or they're just really fun Twitch reflex reaction tests that are um, amusing and enjoyable. Well, sadly, we're going to have to start rounding down here. I just <gasps> wanted to give an extra shout out to the pixel art. I've been oh, thank you. playing things like Day of the Diver and Norco recently and pixel art seems to be getting its own renaissance of late oh that's good to know good to hear yeah i hope so gorgeous stuff i say for anybody listening please do check out trailers you want to see this stuff in motion oh thanks man um but is there anything you want to go over before we wrap up and then we'll do socials let everybody know where to find you and throw money at you (laughs) um yeah man uh thanks for having me on uh it's good to finally to get on here uh average joe said nothing but kind words even though he's a cunt um he is a cunt Yep. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. Um, Lucid is uh, my, like, I live, bleed. What the fuck uh, is Lucid, actually? Like, the word Lucid? The character. Uh, oh, the oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, let me get you a diction. Um, <laughs> Lucid. Uh, so the main character is named Owen. and uh, Why is the game not called Owen? <laughs> because I'm not a hack fraud. <laughs> um, you spell Owen the Irish way, then I can push it. How how do you is it O W E N E O I N E O I Cool, it was cool. Yeah, I uh, I, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> it was on purpose. Fuck all you guys. It was on purpose. I'm a bad speller, but I'm not that bad. Um, but yes, what something oh, about your game you were going to tell us? Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, he's, uh, you can't really get into, you're going to have to play the game to find out exactly, but, uh, he's a little, uh, he's a little boy with stone-like skin and, uh, his birth and origin is mired in mystery. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> if we are going to play this game and find out the story of Owen, spelled the Irish way, <laughs> how would we do so? We would go to lucidkickstarter.com. Preferably www.lucidkickstarter.com. Um, and then you'd, you'd, <laughs> then you'd follow, you'd click the little notify me on launch button because then uh, an angel gets its wings, my puppies gets, get food, and uh, I get the smile for once. That's fun. So please go there. Please do that. That would be so freaking fantastic. Um, and uh, the Kickstarter actually launches in like a month ish, so mid September. So well, it's I'll right be around releasing the corner, this man. on the day it launches, so you can do the and it's oh. released today. Oh, I forgot. That's how time dilations work. Oh, what am I talking about? Uh, yes, it's releasing today. Uh, go there now, you fools. Yes, listener, you should see my name on the Kickstarter list already. I will have backed this up to the hilt. Yes. But yeah, that's the biggest one. Other than that, I'm on Twitch. Uh, I think it's like the map at the map black. Uh, Instagram again, the map black studio. Uh, if you go there, I post a lot of content with lore bits, um, gameplay, mechanics, concept art, the works. Well, that's lovely. If you missed any of that, yes, I'll have all links included in show notes, and you'd lovely. better fucking follow them. I'm not putting them there for fun. They're for you to fucking follow. Yeah. Don't, don't, he does not, nobody to fuck with. Don't fuck with him. I'm sick of these listeners. I know. Expecting me to fear the ear holes on a weekly basis. I have better things to be at. Yeah, all they, it's all about me, me, me. I want, I want, I want. What about you? What are your needs? What the fuck do I want? Yeah. (laughs) Well, Eric from the Mad Black Studio, it has been an absolute delight. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you again for having me on. And you'll uh, be coming back on for your shitty sequel. Absolutely. Uh, For Lucid 2, the electric boogaloo. Uh Oh, I'm going to destroy you. (laughs) A farming simulator. Really? In this economy? (laughs) A farming simulator and also a detective story. Well, that was lovely. But until next time, get fucked. (laughs) 